Hi, I'm Mark Ryan, and tonight I'm going to go through an example of how to deploy a simple image classification model that was trained in FastAI, deploying it in a web application. So let's take a look at what the interface looks like. So here you see a very simple interface with two controls. The first control is a control that lets us choose what file we want to take the prediction on. So I'm going to choose the picture of a lemon here. And the thumbnail gets shown and click on get prediction it'll come back with the prediction of the FastAI model. And go back, do another prediction, choose a different image, I'm going to choose the apricot. Again, get a prediction, and it's an apricot. All right, so we're going to take a look and see what the code looks like for this. I did a video a couple, about a week ago that showed how to do a FastAI tabular model deployment the bottle deployment for image classification is a little bit different, but it's fairly easy. We're going to dig into the code a little bit, so hope you enjoy it. Okay, now we're going to take a look at one of the biggest pieces of code that make up this deployment, and that is the Flask server. And this is simply a Python program that makes use of the Flask library, which is a web serving library available in Python. I'm going to point out some of the most important pieces of code here and then just talk about how this works. We'll get, we'll get into the other two pieces of code that are involved in this overall deployment, a couple of HTML files in a few minutes. But let's start with the Flask server. So here's an important part for anybody who's using Windows. You need to have exactly this set of imports and this stuff going on here. Otherwise, you're going to get POSIX path errors when you try to load the FastAI model. So you have to have that. And here you're importing what you need from Flask. And then here's another very important import. You're importing what you need for the vision library for FastAI. For the purposes of this simple deployment, we've got a fixed directory where the files can come from. It's a subdirectory of the directory that this Python module is in. And then down here, we've got the code that actually loads the FastAI model. It, uh, it gets the, the name of the model, which has been saved in the same directory as the, uh, the directory that this Python program is in. So that path gets built and then this command here loads that saved FastAI model into the learner object within the Flask module here. Next, we have a couple of view functions. So there's a view function for each of the web pages that makes up the deployment. This first view function, this decorator up here, says that this view function is for what happens when you go to localhost 5000. And what happens essentially is that this web page gets loaded, home.html. And this is the web page that you saw earlier where you can select the file that you want the model to make a prediction on. And here's the next view function. And this is for show prediction. This is the web page where the prediction comes up to, for the model's prediction of what's actually in the image file that you selected. And a couple of things are happening here. Here, you're loading in the name of the file that you selected in home.html into image file name. Here, you're building a full path for that file. So you're using the fixed image directory and the file name that you got from home.html. Next, you create an image object. And then, in this statement, you're getting a prediction from the model. So this learner object here, that's what you loaded as the FastAI model. You're getting a prediction on the image object you just created. And the prediction comes back in three pieces. The important part is pred class. And this will be a string that represents the object that's depicted in the image. So the next thing you do is you build a URL string to send to show prediction that includes what the object, the model's prediction of what's in the image. And then this call here shows or makes the request to show show prediction.html with the name 
of the object that the model predicted was in the image as an argument. So three things happening here. You load the image file name that you got from home.html. You make a prediction using that image file name, and then you bundle up the prediction and invoke showprediction.html. All right, so we saw what the Python code looks like, what the two view functions that control the two HTML files that make up the deployment look like. Now we're gonna take a look at the HTML files themselves. So starting with home.html, which is really, really dead simple. Anybody who's actually a web developer is gonna choke at this because it's so simple and simple-minded, but it does the job. So home.html has a number of controls in it. So there's a header to say, please select the file you want to classify. There is an input here. So this is the item that generates the file selection dialog. And the interesting thing here is on change get file. So what that does is it calls a JavaScript function. We're gonna take a look at it a little bit later. And then this is the button that invokes the view function for show prediction.html. That is get prediction. So I mentioned the get file JavaScript function, and this is what it looks like. So a number of things happening here. The main thing, the thing that's, that is interesting for somebody who's not a web developer is that what this does is it creates an object, it creates a, a image object dynamically. So that's what this set of code does here. It creates an image object, a control on, uh, on in a dynamic way. The reason for that is if you put an image control, hard code it like the other controls that are on this page, you'll get the broken image icon, which looks really ugly. So by only making the image object when you actually have something to show, then you avoid that problem of having the broken image uh, icon showing up. So basically what this does is it's, it creates the object and it displays, this is the, the magic here, it displays the file name, using the file name displays it as a thumbnail in the image object. This JavaScript function here, link with args, this is the function that gets invoked when you click on the get prediction button. And it invokes this JavaScript function, get option, which is up here. And what this basically does is it builds a string that's made up of the file name that was selected from the, uh, the file selection. And here you can see it's building up a query string that includes the file name. This is a, uh, it's a list, just taking the first element. There's a variation of this code that lets you select multiple files. In this version of it, you only select a, select a single file just for simplicity's sake. So link with args calls get option, which creates the query string. And that gets defined as the output of the window, which essentially means that when the next HTML file is invoked, it's going to get a query string that includes the name of the file that was selected in the file selection dialog. And if you remember back to what the show prediction view function looked like back in the Python Flask server, that's exactly the parameter that gets picked up there. So that's how there's a communication between the HTML files and Python is through the query strings. And most of the JavaScript that's in the simple HTML files is building those query strings. So taking whatever the user selected, building a query string out of it, and then allowing that to be passed back to the view function in Python. I mentioned there were two HTML files. There is home.html and showprediction.html. So we just looked at home.html, where you select what file you want the uh, fast AI model to make a prediction on. Now let's take a look at showprediction.html. This one's very simple. So all it's doing is displaying the value that was sent, that was set in the um, the view function for show prediction of HTML. 
So you may remember back in the Flask server in the Python module, we called the fast AI model. We got a string out of that and we built a query string using that string. Well, that's where prediction comes from, prediction key. So that's all that show prediction is doing. It's just showing the value, the name of the object that the model predicted was in the image file that you selected in home.html. So you've seen the code in the Flask server in the Python module. You've seen the code for the HTML files. Let's see them again in action one more time. So here is home.html. Here I can choose a file. So this is a fixed directory. So I'm going to choose the apricot again. When I select it, it appears in a thumbnail. So again, this is getting generated dynamically. I click on get prediction. The model gets invoked. A, the model makes a prediction on what's in the image that I selected. The label that it predicts gets sent to showprediction.html and gets displayed here as apricot. And that's a walkthrough of a simple fast AI image classification deployment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.